Hello and welcome to another video. And in this video, it's going to be about exponential equations. Now, an equation is exponential if the exponent itself contains a function, okay, uh, or is a function. And as you can see, the x is not the base, the x is part of the exponent. So you have to look for a way to bring down whatever is on top. And the easiest way we know is using logarithms. So anytime you see a constant, raised to a function or a function raised to a function you want to start thinking of using logarithms however there are some logarithm rules that you need to know if you misapply them you're going to get the answer wrong or you never end up getting an answer and that's what we want to clarify today Okay, let's do the first things first. So the first thing you want to do is straight away apply um, logarithms to both sides. What you do to the left hand side, you have to do to the right hand side. But you can't do two. Okay, you have to do just one. So what we can do is say that the natural log, or you can choose any base, but I like choosing log to base E, which is natural log, because that way I don't have to think too much. Okay, so natural log 3 to 7x will be equal to um, the natural log of everything on this right-hand side. Now, don't try to apply natural log twice. When you first introduce it, you have to use one on this side, one on this side. That's how it works, okay? So it's going to be the natural log of everything on this side, which is 5 to the x, and this will be... Well, this is actually multiplication, so you can just use the multiplication sign, 7 to the x plus 5, okay? Just to save us, I'm going to put this in parentheses so we know it belongs to that. Okay, and the next thing is now to remember your rules of logarithms, okay? It tells you that when you have this, look at this, log of a, b is the same thing as log a plus log b. This is what is correct, okay? So you always remember this, that log a plus log b is the same thing as taking only one logarithm of the products of the two uh, numbers that are there. So you want to remember that, and that's what we're going to apply here. So this tells us that this is equal to the natural log of 5 to the x plus the natural log of 7 to the x plus 5. Okay, so because we know how logarithm works, you can now take this back here, take this back here, and that gives you, this is equal to x ln 5 plus x plus 5 ln 7. Okay, uh, we don't have a problem with this because this is going to be um, 7x ln 3. So, but what's important right now is that we want to isolate x, okay? Um, if I take, so we want to put all the terms that contain x together. However, you can't just remove this x from this exponent and take it out. You have to free it from the exponent, from the parenthesis, rather, and then you, uh, you can then move the x. So you have to remember to do that. We open this up. However, before going on with this point, um, I want to show you what else you could have done from the beginning that would have made this not a problem. You could have solved this problem from the beginning. And let me show you on this side. So, let's say from this line here, we did not introduce the natural log. We just decided to solve this as if we're trying to solve exponential equations without introducing natural logarithms or any kind of logarithm. Now what you have will be um, 3 to the 7x um, will be equal to 5 to the x multiplied by 7 to the x. You see, I'm trying to relate this to this. This actually means 7 to the x times 7 to the 5th, like this. 
Okay? That's what it means. Exactly what you have here was this question. And this would have made things a lot easier because now, um, what do we have? You can actually just introduce your natural log now because you wouldn't have this problem at the end. We already did it from the beginning. So this is another way. And this would now be equal to the natural log of 5 to the x times 7 to the x times 7 to the 5th, which will be 3 to the 7x, okay? Natural log. Now you can bring this down and say 7x ln 3 equals ln um, 5 to the x plus ln 7 to the x plus ln 7 to the 5th. Okay, so you can now bring this all down and say this is 7x ln 3 equals x ln 5 plus x ln 7 plus 5 ln 7, which will be the next stage of what we're going to write. Okay, so now I can open this up. You can see the only thing that's different is that I don't have this problem. But if I distribute this, I'm going to end up with this expression. Okay, so let's distribute this. You have 7x ln 3 equals x ln 5 plus x times this gives you x ln 7 plus 5 ln 7. That's exactly what you have here. But it depends on the method you want to take. You want to go from the beginning, from this line. You want to go this way. Use exponent laws to break this open into this, then apply the law, then change it into addition, and see we're at the same stage now for both questions, for both methods of approaching um, uh, the problem. So at this point, we just need to collect the like terms or the terms that contain x and solve it. So I'm just going to continue here. Okay, so at this point, this is going to be 7x ln 3 minus x ln 5 minus x ln 7 will be equal to 5 ln 7. If I take out the x, I factor it out, we're going to have 7 ln 3 minus ln 5 minus ln 7, and that will be 5 ln 7. So, final answer, x will be equal to this, which is 5 ln 7, divided by 7 ln 3 minus ln 5 minus ln 7. Now, if you're required to get the exact answer, well, you need to read your values of ln 7 from a, ch a chart or use a calculator to figure that out, and that will be fine. Just don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.